Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday, which means it's another grocery haul day. This week is super, super special because I found a coveted item that has been MIA for a very long time that I seriously literally shrieked when I saw at the grocery store. So I can't wait to share it with you. So if you're excited for today's grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the little bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do grocery hauls every single Saturday. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. That way you know where you should fall every day to be most successful. If you want to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group, head on over, join us there. We'd love to have you are also down in that description box. So let's jump in to this exciting WW grocery haul. So here is this week's big grocery haul. I ended up going to both Walmart and to Trader Joe's. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while and I have a very, very exciting, exciting find for you from Trader Joe's. So let's jump into the grocery haul. First thing I picked up are these beautiful flowers. Trader Joe's just has the best price on flowers and the ones on my table have literally been there for almost a month and they still look pretty good. These are them. They've been on my kitchen table for almost a month and you can see that they're just starting to get a little crummy. New dog treats. I've never seen these. I think that they're new to Trader Joe's. They're corned beef dog treats. So of course I can never go grocery shopping without picking up something for the dogs. Speaking of the dogs, two, three packs of tennis balls. Palmer loves tennis balls and we don't know what he does with them because we're missing a lot of the ones we had. So we decided to pick him up six more and hopefully this will last a while. A 32 pack of water. We were just about out of bottled water. Picked up a bottle of that. I actually needed dry white wine for a recipe. I don't like this wine so I will not drink the rest of it. So I wanted to get the least expensive one I could find. Another 18 pack of my very favorite eggs, the Happy Egg. I find that Walmart has the best price on these. Lots of deli meat for Troy's lunch. He wanted the copycat Italian BMT from Subway. So I picked up half a pound of pepperoni, half a pound of dry salami, and half of a pound of ham. I thought that would be really good on some country potato bread. So just the great value version of the country potato. If you saw Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I have a new favorite breakfast, lunch, dinner. I've been eating this for almost every single meal. So I make avocado toast out of hash browns. So if you haven't seen Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I'll link that down below for you guys. I actually show you how I make it. It's so incredibly delicious. I've been eating it at least once, sometimes twice a day. So I'm almost out of hash browns. So I grabbed the frozen ones from Trader Joe's. Beef and bean burritos for Troy. He requested quite a few frozen things that he can quickly warm up on his way out the door to work. He starts at 3.30 in the morning a couple days a week. So he needs something quick and easy that, so that he could just quickly eat before he heads out the door so early in the morning. The sweet Italian style chicken sausage from Trader Joe's. I should have ordered the chicken apple from Walmart and I forgot. I like to have these on hand because they make really quick, low calorie, low point, high protein lunches and dinners. I ordered the big pack of provolone cheese and Walmart was out of it. So they substituted with two small packs, basically the same thing, 24 slices of provolone. I need the provolone for Troy sandwiches and then for a couple of dinner recipes. Another pack of my favorite tortillas, the La Banderita carb counter. This is also for a dinner recipe and then I like to have these on hand for quick, easy lunches. It's back Back again, Troy's cheese for his meat, cheese and crackers. We have plenty of meat, but we were out of cheese and out of crackers, so we're back. His typical meat, cheese and crackers. Two pounds of the lean Gren Jenny O ground chicken. I needed ground chicken for two separate dinner recipes. This is a new find at Trader Joe's. This is their allulose sweetener blend. I flipped it over and looked at the ingredients and it's a mix of allulose and stevia. So it's a nice clean sugar alternative. I just wanted to try it. You guys know I love my Lakanto monk fruit, but this is a new product and I thought I might as well try it. I like allulose. It's an all natural sweetener. It's made from figs and raisins. So I picked that up. I want to say that this 12 ounce bag was 
$4.50. Three of the Lean Cuisine lasagna with meat sauce. Again, these are for Troy's quick, easy meals. And then I also did three of the Alfredo pasta with chicken and broccoli. This is one of his other favorites. Ritz crackers for Troy's meat, cheese, and crackers. And then we were also out of saltines, and he likes to have these with soups. I picked up the Fresh Stack Ritz and the Fresh Stack of the saltines. I like these. I think the crackers last a lot longer. They're in smaller stacks, so they don't go stale if you don't eat them as quickly. I was completely out of almond milk, so this time I picked up the Silk Almond Coconut Milk. Part skim ricotta. I'm actually making lasagna this next week. It's a WW recipe. I'm super excited for it, so I needed some skim ricotta. Cottage cheese for Palmer. We like to give this to him with his breakfast and his dinner. Just about a tablespoon or so mixed in with his kibble. He really likes it and the calcium is really good for puppies. A can of crushed pineapple. This is for my meal prep. A big can of crushed tomatoes for a dinner recipe. I was completely out of oats and Walmart didn't have any organic oats. So I went ahead and just added the regular oats to my cart in case Trader Joe's didn't have organic either. So I ended up just getting a can of the old fashioned oats. And then Trader Joe's had organic oats. So I'm really excited to have them. I always buy my oats organic due to the pesticide. Two bags of frozen organic mixed berry blends from Trader Joe's. I need this for my breakfast meal prep. And then the organic wild blueberries also for smoothies. I've been really into protein shakes and smoothies lately as the weather has gotten warmer and I'm completely out of frozen fruit and I just love these little wild blueberries. They're so sweet and delicious. And a new product at Trader Joe's is their organic basmati rice. Rice is another thing I always buy organic again just due to the pesticides and basmati is one of my favorite this was super affordable. Trader Joe's has really been upping their organic game. They have a lot more than they used to, which is super exciting. You guys, look. Look what's back at Trader Joe's. This is what I was on the hunt for, like I mentioned in my video, that I, when I went to Trader Joe's this week, I was on the hunt. It was for the light shredded mozzarella cheese. If you have bought this in the past, you know that they discontinued this for a while because they said that the nutritional information wasn't accurate and it was supposed to come back last year and never did well it's back and I'm so incredibly excited. This is my all time favorite cheese. It's in a one ounce or a quarter cup for 60 calories and it's only two points per serving. So I was so excited. I picked up two bags just in case it wasn't there next week, which I'm pretty sure it's back for good, but how incredibly exciting. So check your local Trader Joe's. And then of course I picked up the light Mexican blend as well. For produce this week, I am out of frozen veggies. So this is the golden white corn, carrots and asparagus. A head of iceberg lettuce for Troy's sandwiches green onions for a recipe. Are you helping me with the groceries? Hi, baby. Some bananas for snacking and also for a meal prep. Tomatoes for Troy's sandwiches. A papaya because it sounded amazing. It's a very summery vibe fruit. Lots of lettuce because I've been on a salad kick. I've really been craving salads. So I grabbed a few bags of lettuce, some nice salad mixes for the week. So this is the baby red butter lettuce and baby spinach and then romaine hearts, and then just regular spinach. I use this for recipes also for my smoothies. Some fresh basil for a dinner recipe, and then I like to put basil in my salad. Organic strawberries for meal prep. I'm so excited to share, share with you guys what I'm doing for meal prep this week. And finally, I got my own mint plant. You guys know I've been putting mint in my water every day. I put it with lemons or limes. It's so good. And I've been buying the little clam shells and they're just so expensive. So in my challenge group Zoom call, they were sharing with me that you can just buy the plant and then clip off the leaves and it'll actually grow back. So you should always have fresh mint on hand. Now I don't have a green thumb, so hopefully I don't kill it. I'm going to pop it in my windowsill, but I am so excited to have my very own mint plant. So that is my big grocery haul for the week. Let's jump into what I'm doing for dinners and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is this week's meal plan. Can you believe we're almost to the end of June already? June 19th through the 25th. So today, Saturday, we're going out to dinner as always, or maybe we'll do frozen pizza. We'll just kind of have to see what we feel like tonight. And then tomorrow I'm making cheese steak quesadillas. You guys will actually see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned. Monday I'm doing pineapple teriyaki chicken meatballs. These just sound really good and fresh for summer. Tuesday is always a leftovers night because I try to go to jazzercise. Wednesday I'm making that Weight Watchers recipe for lasagna. Thursday is chipotle lime chicken burger. So I'm making my own 
homemade Trader Joe's Chipotle lime chicken burgers. And then Friday is leftovers as well, just because we do try to eat up all of the leftovers from earlier in the week. So here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. Hopefully this week's meal prep goes a little smoother than last week's, but for breakfast, I'm doing a mixed berry baked oatmeal. I've really been enjoying baked oatmeal for breakfast, so I'm gonna make a spin on some of my other recipes, make it a little bit different. For lunch, I'm doing lemon basil orzo with chicken. I have been craving orzo pasta and I saw this recipe and it sounds, again, just fresh for summer. And then dessert, we're doing another summery dessert with a strawberry crisp. So this is going to be a cobbler style of dessert. So stay tuned on Monday for all three of these recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. Let me know down in the comments if you are as excited as I am about the light mozzarella being back at Trader Joe's and back for good. I'm so incredibly excited. It is one of my all time favorite cheeses. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and lets me know to keep putting out these grocery hauls every single Saturday. If you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single grocery haul or a single video at all. Down in that description box, check out Nutrition Coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely head over, join us there. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.